Hey guys, Proper English here, and today we're going to take the next step in building our ALU. So last time, what we did was we set up a control line that allowed us to isolate each bit of the adder, so bit 0 can function independently, bit 1 can function independently, and so on. Today what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to set up another control line so that instead of each bit doing an XOR function, we get an OR function. And from there, we'll be able to add more control lines and get all logic functions. So let's get started. All right, so when I flip this lever over here, we isolate each bit, OK? So bit 0 is functioning independently from everything else. Same thing with bit 1, bit 2, and bit 3. And right now, they're functioning as XOR gates because there's an XOR gate in the adder. And the one line of the truth table that's different between an XOR gate and an OR gate is when both inputs are on. So for XOR, the output is off. But for OR, the output would be on. Well, if we take a look at our XOR over here, what we can do is we can modify it so that it functions as an OR gate. So the way this thing works is when both inputs are on, this torch over here which is an AND gate, disables these torches over here. But if I set up another torch over here, so this is our second control line, well now this torch is disabled when this is on and the output is on, so that is an OR. Now I'll take a minute, set up this control line, and now we have a control line that allows us to switch between XOR and OR. So right now, I've got it functioning as an XOR gate. I've got a truth table set up, so you can see how that works. The one thing that's going to be different when I turn this control line on is this last bit over here. So when we've got both inputs on, so right now it's XOR, the output is off. Well, that is going to be on. Okay, so let's do that. We'll come over here, flip this guy. And now, the ALU is performing an OR function. So when both inputs are off, the output is off. But that's the only time when the output's off. When either or both of the inputs are on, the output is on, that's OR. And that is our second ALU function and our second control line. Next time, we're going to add two control lines and get into some inversions and that will add a lot of new functionality. Hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.